in bonds. This is why we tell you, send venison to your father. When you feed your father in the faith, you are tapping into the anointing in the bonds. Not today. You will get it at some point. Elisha, the one who washes Elijah's feet. Why? Because feet has got bond. Uh, Joshua, the one who washes Moses' hands. Because hands have got bond. Uh, when you send seed to your father, you are putting something in his bonds. And when that is happening, what are you doing? You are contacting the anointing in the bonds. We all know that the sepulchre of David up to now is there in Israel. And the anointing he had is still in his bonds. Uh, you'll get it at some point. He says, I'm the Almighty, sir. The Almighty. I'm El Shaddai. I'm El Shaddai. In Colossians, the Bible says he created all things. So then we go back to Genesis 1. He is El Shaddai. Jesus is God being spoken about there. Uh, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 8. Last second, last scripture. <laughs> Today I'll be fast. Say, neighbor. You see, that's why I say you're not feeling it. Say, neighbor. I'm now feeling it. Praise the Lord. Ah, no, me, no, me, you can't change it. No, me, no, you can't change it. No, me, no, you can't change it. No, me, no, Jesus didn't force Judas. One verse eight. One verse three. But unto the Son he says, Thy throne, O God. Ah, ah. Now this is confusion. Jesus is telling, God is telling the Son, Thy throne, O God, is what? Forever. Is for what? Forever and ever. Uh huh. A scepter of righteousness is a scepter of thy kingdom. So Jesus, God is telling Jesus. Who is telling Jesus there? God. Thy throne, oh. This is a conundrum, sir. They say it is a Christ to us. Yes, it is a Christ to us. They say it. Let me get it. Let's read it again. One, two, three. But unto the Son he says, Thy throne, oh God, is forever. And a scepter of righteousness is what? The scepter of your kingdom. Thy throne, oh God. Jesus is being called God by the Father. Yet the Son calls the Father God. Why do we get it twisted? Okay, maybe this is too much for people. Uh, last one, Isaiah. I want to be able to be preaching in 30 minutes before our friends are in the spirit on the other side. Praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Alex, this one will not go very today. <laughs> this is the last scripture. I'm going to start twice. Verse 6. 1, 2, 3. For unto us a child is born. That's why the Catholic Church ends. Unto us a son is given. That's why most Pentecostal churches are ending. Let's proceed from there. Yes? And the government shall be upon his The kingdom is upon his shoulders. So why are Christians still poor when the kingdom of Christ is on his shoulder? It is your lack of understanding that has placed poverty on the shoulders of Christ. Let's proceed. <laughs> and his name shall be called Wonderful. So now Isaiah is revealing. Isaiah is not giving us just a character. Isaiah is giving us a revelation of his name. His name shall be called what? Wonderful. Ask your neighbor's life. Is your life wonderful? Ask them. Is your life wonderful? Lack of liberation. Especially I can't settle. Forward. Lack of liberation. <laughs> it's not wonderful. <laughs> I was telling Bright, I said, my son, by the Pentagonanda this weekend. I said, the more spiritual you become, the more cleaner you will be. It begins to push. That internal cleanliness pushes outside. I've said, you see, this grass is green. It will be greener than this. <laughs> the worker knows that. These towels will be cleaner outside these pavings. Because spirituality makes you clean. And then it begins to rub onto your soul and rub on your flesh. So that's wonderfulness of holiness. Don't, don't be deceived. Those men of God who wear Masutia 10 bin and yesterday I was sleeping with a prostitute. 
in the kingdom of darkness bali namang namang ngumba that's why i've refused to be justified by what i wear come to where i stay see my spirit because the spirit is a residence i'm telling you the truth how oh, are we a reason to play but dressing should not be my justification of anointing amen no from the circles i had friends who started with a certain church there are also embassy embo as well when we were starting at campus i found one of them my hotel pastor is a pastor is a friend of mine to adekala in a room on the next room by the base of that the man has bought suits maybe in the time he has been in that ministry maybe eight years um maybe every year i must put uh, five pin times two of huh that's the case of that time seven he has no plot In a broad nest case this step in in bias pen there one year pass with you ska banga na ba I'm honest he has no savings if the suit you buy is enough deposit to buy land and you bought a suit you don't need prayer you need medicine I know you don't like it. No, we are a posh church. We are a town church. No, we are not. We are just a church of Christ. Amen. Let's come to your home. Let your house be a town house. Amen. Fila kabaka. So to let us see if pano no pano no. We are not stressing. We are not at the continent to hear. I have sons passed over and they are mounted to one of the people in there. Then I realized, chair and your team. I said, "Do for us what?" I want to go to a million dollar for a masuti. It's not it's not that enough. Next I think I'm buying suits with the money they're giving me. I am telling you. One of my sons this week. One of my sons this week had a business. You watch me. He had a business deal. He made over 700 dollars out of it. Profit this week. He wears t-shirts. In that church in town. One one of my sons if he just sights he can power is not in appearance power is in internality Amen. this is why Jesus beside being God he was so humble he still had power my model is not your pastor say amen, amen. my model is Christ ah uh, you didn't hear that please get some applause for me praise the lord hallelujah amen. let's proceed from there counselor wonderful next my people uh i don't know let me, let me say this one i'm sure they will push down i don't know why you Jews are confused about that isaiah is you say it mighty god that's blast that in his that's blast when they were accusing jesus on what isaiah said and killed him one of their own a prophet said is called what mighty 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 that's his name mighty mighty when you have a headache what do you call on the mighty you need shaddai shaddai blows up shaddai is a explosive among the names of god shaddai is the most powerful god because it's all mighty it's all powerful omnipotent all sovereign so when you have a head and headache call on jesus as shaddai you will see the explosion that will happen when he's coming back sir is coming back as shaddai the hope of amen when he came in the holy spirit is omnipresent the whole present when he gave us the bible is omniscient is all knowing but when he's coming the power he said when he's coming abraham when he's coming no matter how dark hell is and the bible says when he's coming satan knows that it's only you who doesn't know how powerful this guy is it's because you want to strictly stick to the savior you don't want to strictly stick to the lord the savior's work ended when you are saved the lord's work started after salvation 
the Jesus who came in the earth ended at taking you out of Adam. The Jesus who is in heaven will end at leaving you in the Lord, taking you to heaven. the Almighty. is the El Shaddai. He told Moses, I appeared unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as El Shaddai. Which means among my names I appeared as Jesus. They saw him. And told Moses in Exodus 34, today I will appear. Close your eyes, you will see my back. Now, when they saw the back of Jesus, in Hebrew, the tenets were written at the back of God's skin. I was studying you remember. The, the rabbi will take God's skin and treat it and the scroll will be written there. Kunuma. So before Moses receives the commandments, Jesus says, Narapitange Mbereri. Where the priests will come and write the commandments. Waramu nenumu. So I took it. Then he appeared. And when he appeared, Moses had a bitch to write. Because Jesus' word was written at his back. Behold the Lamb of God walking, John said. So when the Hebrew priests are writing, they are writing it at the back of the God or Lamb scheme. Jesus is that Lamb that has appeared to Moses, where the tenets are written, where the commands are written. Moses saw Jesus. Then three angels appeared to Abraham. And among them was God. From the three angels, it's two that went to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. One remained. And Abraham said, I have seen God. Abraham saw Jesus. And then the Bible says he was a rock that moved with them in the wilderness, in 2 Corinthians, I think. So in the wilderness, the one that gave them water they drank was Jesus. And the reason why Jesus was in the rock he was in the rock to preserve the destiny of Moses. So when Moses hits the rock twice, he has hit Jesus two times. And God has a problem with that, not the water coming out. He says, you didn't sanctify me holy. How are you holy as a rock? He was a rock that moved with him in the wilderness. So when you've hit my son twice, you've crucified him two times. This is when salvation has come. And we are now sinning. He says, we are, are we taking Christ back to the cross? Moses did that. For that, as a witness, nothing could be done. Even if God made a prophecy on Moses, he couldn't change it. Most of you didn't hear it. I'm sure when you go home, you will. Hallelujah. Most of us didn't think it. Then in, 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 in Judges, the Joshua was before the high priest. I think it's Zachariah of Judges. The one they saw was Christ Jesus. Zacharias, I think. Zachariah 3, I think. The one they saw there on the throne was Jesus. Because in Hebrews 1.8, the Bible says, your throne is forever settled, and the scepter of righteousness is your kingdom. So Joshua, the high priest, the one he saw was Jesus. If we come to conclusion of Revelations, the one who sits, the one among the fires, is Christ. One like the Son of Man. The one sitting before in the midst of the 24 elders is Jesus. Even Revelation does not tell us they saw God. They saw Jesus. This Jesus is God. And until Christianity appreciates the goodness of Christ, the, the dominion that Christianity should have cannot be in view. Let us make man in our image and let them have what? Dominion. What is dominion? Abraham Shaddai. So the image man is being made in is the image of the El Shaddai. So when man functions from the image of El Shaddai, man is having the power to function in dominion. Until man functions in Jesus, man can never function in dominion. Until man functions in El Shaddai, who is Christ, man can never function in dominion. Dominion is a prelude of the image that has a name. This image is Jesus. Who is Jesus the Father? Who is Jesus the Almighty? Until man functions in that understanding and liberation, we are not so sure dominion, Shaddai power shall come. You shall receive power after which the Holy Ghost has come. You shall receive Shaddai again. I am coming to recreate. 
when power has come, when the Holy Spirit has come, He has come to do what? To recreate your spirit. Then He says you are a new creature. A salvation and the coming of the Holy Spirit, it brings unto you dunamis. It brings unto you power. It brings unto you what? The authority of Shaddai. And now that time He wants you to relate with Him, not as a Savior. He wants you to relate with Him as the Lord. As the Lord, it means He is now the owner of your life. As the Lord, it means He is now the all-powerful. Most of you are crying to Jesus for salvation. You are not crying to Jesus as your Father. This is why it says in Romans 8, Our spirits bear witness with the Holy Spirit that we are the sons of God. This is why He tells them, Go no one, Father, accept me, literally. Accept He who has come from heaven. That time it's a context. Me as your father in the faith, I am not your spiritual father. Jesus is a spiritual father of every Christian. We are just fathers in the spirit, in the faith. There is no spiritual father in the world. Tell your neighbor. No, because you called one spiritual father. Tell them, Prophet. Say, say, Pastor and Ma, there is no spiritual father on the earth. 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 Because in, in Genesis 6, I'm the God of all flesh. So which means even the flesh, I fathered it. Then he says, man is also flesh. You will not strive with my spirit. So which means the source of every man's spirit is the father. So it means God is now the spiritual father. As we are just fathers in the faith. He is the spiritual father of your spirit. As we are watchers of your soul. We are fathers in the faith because we train your soul. We don't train your spirit. What I am saying here, I am imparting your soul. The one who takes over training from what I have said is the spirit inside you. Who is the spiritual father? No, tell them. Because the transmitting systems are spiritual fathers. You know, my daughter just sleep with me. I will transfer power. My spirit is in my seat. The end has come. No, the end has come. And the moment PJ chair, I tell you I'm your spiritual father. Do you know my essence is to control your spirit? And if man's spirit can be dominated, man can be controlled. No man is supposed to control another man. This is why in Nigeria, the church has taken out an occult form. They believe what the man of God says more than what God says. Why? Because they are spiritual father. So they have replaced God with their man of God. So what he says to their spirit, and man is his spirit, he controls them. And man was not designed to control another man's spirit. This is why the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 6, 17, we are one spirit within. If in there and the one who is teaching you all things is the spirit within. Next one there and now I'm informing your soul. I'm fathering your soul. The one who is fathering your spirit is the one who is speaking from what I'm saying and informing your spirit. That's why none of you are hearing what I'm saying in the same way. All of us are picking it differently because the Holy Spirit teaches you according to your needs. There are no spiritual fathers in the world. There are only fathers in the faith. Cautism is built when men become spiritual fathers to men's spirits. I don't train your spirits. I know some of you have watched a message from Nigeria educating your spirit. No man can educate the spirit. He said he shall teach you all things. So when he comes to you, he said you do not need any man to teach you anything. First John 2.20 but the anointing that resides in you shall teach you all things. So we don't need, there's no biblical basis for a spirit of a man to be taught by another man. It is not possible. He who is born again receives the teaching of his spirit by the anointing in dwelling. 1 John 2.20 He shall teach you all things. John 14, 15 and 16. When he comes into you, the comforter. So the one who teaches, the one who reveals, is the Holy Spirit. Me, no matter how powerful I am, I am talking to your soul. If your soul never hears, your spirit cannot hear. There are no spiritual fathers in there. This has been a doctrine that has produced immorality in the church. We are watchers. Give double honor to those that watch over your soul. No spiritual fathers. Timothy, my son, 
who my father did this gospel of Christ in a certain faith. I did not father your spirit, Timothy. I met you as a mature person. How did I father your spirit up to this level? Huh? But whom I bathed in this gospel of Christ Jesus. And Paul himself tell us, Timothy, keep the faith that is of your grandmother, Lois. So which means even before Timothy had faith from his foundation, from his background. So when he's saying my son, he's not saying I am a father of your spirit. No. He's saying I have just amplified teaching you on Jesus. So I'm fathering you in a doctrine. This is where uh, Dr. Abiyo Damina is right. He says his father is a source of doctrine. A certain understanding. That's a father in the faith. There he is right. That's why I said he's a tree of good and something else. <laughs> what is good? You listen. You see, when I talk about the man of God, which is I'm not supposed to do in the first place. I'm not just focusing on where he is wrong. Like he normally focuses. No, these babas. No, but say also the good things they have done. That's a fair balance of a discussion. Now we are saying how good he has been in revealing Jesus and revealing fatherhood in the faith. He is the master of that teaching. No man of God has revealed how fatherhood in the faith should be done better than Dr. David. So he will tell you that, then he will tell you, no, if you commit suicide, you go to heaven. Then you are confused. <laughs> now you are confused again, in the same teaching. So you don't hear Dr. Damina, the whole message, hear clips. <laughs> One day these messages will go, I think you will call me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because it's influencing, you know, Pastor Waishanavaruban. And because Africans are used to slavery, either active slavery or passive slavery, they like it. Grace is please bringing in passivity, passive slavery. Oh, Jesus did everything. It's okay. Anything that enslaves an African, an African is interested in it. I'm saying this for the fact on TV. So grace is bringing in passive slavery. Permissiveness. I can drink a bit, just sweated it out, I'm okay. An African is a king to slavery. Look at African American churches. They are very legalistic. Watch their movies. The spirit of slavery is there. Look at the South Africa. The spirit of slavery is shifting from white people to black. I said last year, watch out for Malema. You remember on my page? I put two prophecies that, and then in October I also said Tinubu. I said, people are saying Peter will be Malema, watch out of Tinubu. One of the people asked me, Pastor, so you mean Tinubu will win? I said, I don't know. Then I came to church and I clarified it. The country of South Africa is shifting towards Malema, whether you like it or oh, yes. I said it last year. It's a spirit, and I said Shaka has reincarnated. I also now talked about Charles. I said Satan is now born again. I just put Charles and I said Satan is now born. <laughs> Are we together here? Christians, Africans, if Sia One was here, we don't have space here. We love servitude. We love slavery. The reason why I could stop working for Christ is because Jesus is the only personality that frees all and unites all in all things. There's no doctrine on segregation and Black Lives Matter and white, nothing. Kanye West says white lives matter. They say anti-Semitism, what you call that? So unless black lives, when it says black lives matter, then it's okay. When we say white lives matter, it's anti-Semitism. And you take it, uh, uh, we take his added as yes, yes, that. Why would you do that? And then as prophets and teachers, chair, you ask me a question, Benjamin Wante. He says, man of God, why, what is, what is the solution to Christianity? I said, when prophets arise and tell people the truth, like it was in the olden days, that is where freedom will come. Whether they are given money or not given money, but they speak out. Amen. This is why I don't want to have a lifestyle so built by your givings. Because you deny me the truth. <laughs> I need to content my life. I come here and I say what God has to say. Amen. In a church where there are so many rich men, the message has shift. I start preaching 10, 10, 10 steps to wealth. <laughs> 
My sons, you who I teach class, they have more money than the ones who are attending seminars on 10 steps of Kenugwe. <laughs> one of them, I'm saying the BMW, you know, said, die. Yes, yes. Yeah, you, you know the story, they sent it yesterday, the photo. Did we teach 10 steps? No. Yes. <laughs> Man of God, the way you're teaching us, Jesus, this is some of the evidence. So the truth is in the person of Christ. When a man of God is so focused on teaching prosperity is great, he wants money. Prosperity is an overflow. Pastor Chan, if you are an organizer, you are a, so for example, Pastor Chan is a man, then he's a husband, then he's a father, then he's an employee. Prosperity is like an employee, it's very temporary. But being a man is permanent. <laughs> so why don't we go to Jesus the man? We focus on what he does only. The children of Israel believed in the heart and they were deceived. But Moses knew the ways. Let me close off. Who is Jesus? The Father. Who is the Father? The Almighty. Jesus is El Shaddai. This week I am asking, even as we pray, when you go home, even today, today we pray, I want you to trust the El shaddai of Jesus. If you have any issue, for me, it's allergies, my kids. That's my focus today. Allergies have to go away. My kids are never sick, nobody. But it's more allergies. At school, they hate candy, they hate frost. He's got these things on the throat. We are going to place Shaddai, Dunamis power, on a matter. And that matter, let me tell you, I heard something from a very key mentor of mine. He says the reason why Christians don't receive in their prayer life is that when they are praying, they don't crown God holy. Holiness in the place of prayer is one-mindedness. So you are saying, Father, this poverty, your mind is traveling. Your, your mind, the travel of your mind is not just your soul. God's spirit will not perform until your soul in imagination has participated. Nothing will work. Moses had to see the Red Sea parted before it could be parted. It can't be parted. Your soul has to participate. And your soul is your imagination. There's a mind there. So your poverty as you are praying, look at how you're coming out. How you look at how you're coming out. The Bible says as they imagined in Genesis 11, nothing could be stopped what they imagined. The power of the soul is imagination. And imagination places an agreement with the anointing of God. When I come here to heal people, I expect what I'm praying for to happen. And my soul in imagination travels, then the spirit meets it up and then it happens. No, you don't get me, you get me at some point. Next time. What do you want God to do for you? What have you desired God to do for you? This is why fasting is essential because fasting places your soul in a Shaddai state. Why mean a chinchuma? Watch it It will happen. You are asking me, man of God, pray for me. Man of God, pray for me. I don't know what to say anymore now. Especially those I've been praying for for some time. Now, no for naish money feed. Every moment I need. If you know more than this, I don't know. For me, this is what works. This is where my life comes from. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Just the last month, my kids, I don't know, power issue, the TV bro broke down. I was in Chechi. I came with it, was it? When I was going home, somebody sent me enough money to buy the TV. This is, this is Shaddai. For someone to give you 10 things, for example, you should have enough power to attract it. Because the hardest thing for man to do is to give money. I bought the TV. I said, okay. I want to paint the house. Somebody calls me and says, my name is Nwadi. Somebody calls my, my father. God has been speaking to me to send me this amount. The exact amount of money I needed to paint the house in and out. You see, 
Yeah. So my wife came back. There's a statement you made. Should I say it? No. I, <laughs> Okay, out of joy, she has permitted. She says, Mr. Musmara, have you robbed a bank? 